All right, Hiss J. Just want to do uh, say Desiree Chemajipados. Um, Desiree, um, my name is Desiree. I wanted to show you guys, you know, the new Facebook addresses. Uh, well, the, you can see the old one, and you can see the new one right here, the Muscogee language. So that is where we're moving everything over. We're we're taking it from a person to the Muscogee language um, um, Facebook. So um, I know that they're saving all of the videos, but I'm not sure if they're going to move them all over or just wait until we get all of the uh, website done and put them there. Because everything's in motion, so we're trying to, you know, do things and figure things out while we're doing it. <laughs> and if you guys can figure out or, or find out a new way to do something or, you know, any kind of um, suggestions, then, you know, just um, just call or just email and, and we'll take that into consideration because a lot of this stuff is new to a lot of us. <laughs> um so if there's something even newer out there that would help, you know, just give us a suggestion. We could look into it and see if that would help us to help you guys. All right. So that is the Facebook, the old one. And I know I showed you guys, this is the new one, the Muscogee language. And I know I showed you guys before, but I'm showing you again. So, you know, we can remember that we have a new Facebook. This is what the new one looks like. And Amy, I'm not sure if you see this one, but the incentives for the Memorize That Game, that's pretty cool. Um, we are actually making the audio for the game so you can hear it. It's just not done yet. They they uh, passed all of these uh, words out and have given them to different Mahayas to say the words because there's so many words. So we're in the process of putting audio to the game. It's just not quite done yet. But you guys can play and just, um, you know, figure things out while we're adding on to it. And I know I, so I showed this on um, Friday to my class, but right here is this link tree. That's new to me too. And I know, uh, Robert, I showed you guys this. I was just clicking on everything. But that on the Facebook, comes up to uh, our social media at the top. You would just um, hit on that. You've got your memorized courses. You've got your um, courses that are the Mahayas teaching. And then you have uh, the Google Drive for the Zoom lessons. And um, the, it goes back to the Facebook page. So that's all cool. That, I was just clicking around and I found that. So I thought I'd show you guys because uh, it's so new that they're not, they haven't shown us how to do it, but we're just, I'm just clicking around and finding things. So um, here, here you go. So you see the Instagram link. And, and like I was saying, I was, I'm new to Instagram. Uh, it's not anything that I really got into, but you know, it's here. The link is on the Facebook, so you can just jump into that. I know they're getting back into TikTok. I'm not familiar with TikTok. I see my my kids sitting there just like watching TikToks, and and uh, so they're getting back into it. So it's not quite there yet, but it is coming. And you can see, like, uh, I know I told you, you know, said this at last class. There's sometimes when I'm teaching, and um, sometimes when I'm sitting in Mahaya Barnett's class, and the uh, a word just sticks in my head. So Okjangma was stuck in my head. <laughs> Robert, I know you remember that story. So I was walking around. I was like, Okjangma, Okjangma. I just walking around. Like, it just kept popping into my head. I'm like, what am I, what am I saying? What? It was just stuck in there. And I think it was at nighttime. I was sitting there, Okjangma. And I was about, I was asleep. And I was like, salt. <laughs> so some of these things will stick into your head. Um, but, you know, that's the way that our mind is reminding us, hey, I'm still learning. I still remember these things. And um, somebody asked me um, if their kids could come into the, um, the Friday class. And they, they, were, they were not too young. And they were not, you know, they were probably about 10, 8, 9, 10. And I said, it's fine. I said, they can come. They can color. They can just listen. Because the brain is so cool that even when they're coloring or they're drawing, they're listening. And a lot of people don't realize that they're soaking this stuff in. 
So I always encourage you, even if you're doing something and you just put some of these um, lessons on from YouTube, it'll, it'll sink in. But the cool thing is on our um, face on our YouTube, and I did have the links in there, I think it was last week, but we have two YouTubes. One of them, it has the, um, the uh, elder speakers speaking, and it's got different people. Um, if you get a chance, just put one of them on, you know, say you're doing additions, just to listen and listen to the language and get absorbed into the language because that helps. Like I said, our, our brains are awesome and they remember things. So, all right. So I just wanted to, before we, we start digging into the conjugations again, I just wanted to go over the sounds. Um, that's one of the things that Mahaya Barnett and I were talking about. You can speak the words, but you don't feel the words unless you get the correct recipe or sounds or spices, however you want to think of it. But, you know, um, you can tell when somebody is a, uh, is a second speaker like we are, because I, I mean, a lot of us are because we learn English first. And uh, you can tell when a first speaker speaks. And I want to emulate the first speakers. So let's go ahead and, and uh, jump into the sounds. It was working earlier, but let me know if you cannot hear this because we've been messing around and trying to make sure that you guys can hear everything. But uh, this is the um, the alphabet that Mahaya Barnett was um, sharing with us a few times. And I just put it on a PowerPoint so you can actually see what we're singing. And um, get this stuck in your head so when you're driving or when you're doing something, housework, sing, you know, do that Muskogee sounds, the alphabet. All right. Can you hear it? Oh, we we All right. Yay, it worked. <laughs> I get so frustrated when I'm like trying to share with you guys this stuff and it's it's just not working. But all right, so that is on the Google Drive. So whenever you lose one of the sounds, and I know uh and ooh are two sounds that I have to constantly go back to or alphabet about. And uh, sometimes uh, um, I'll be in class and I'll I'll say something, I'm like, wait. That's off, and I have to sit there and think about the, the Muskogee sounds. But, uh, you know, and another thing that I was talking about the, to the Mahayas this morning, they're still learning as well. So nobody's perfect in, in, in the language, and uh, they keep telling me that they're still learning. They don't know it all, because we'll sit around and we'll ask questions and, and uh, talk about things. All right. Woo, makes me feel good that that actually worked today. Okay. So... I'm just going to review a couple of things because at the end I had made some sentences and I tried to incorporate all of our vocabulary into the sentences so you guys already know what it sounds like and you can actually um, make your own sentences. But um, let's see. Here we go. All right, these are the Muskogee sounds. And I know today I did use this word, a fuchki, uh, for one of my sentences. And Let's see, I use the word yikchi right here, strong. All right, so again, just refreshing what we went over, what we've been going over is the Muskogee sounds, the Muskogee word associated with its sounds, the English phonetics and the English uh, translation. All right, and these are, I would encourage you just to keep a copy of this, just so you can remember and refresh yourself. All right, and here's some of the other words that I used for the sentences. And let me play this for you so you guys can hear it and, um, you know, and repeat after if there's enough time. But just, you know, try to emulate the speakers that are speaking because, like I said, I know I'm a little choppy, but that's okay. I'm getting there. I can tell a difference just from what the few months I've started here. Osafki. Oh, Safki, Abuski, 
Abaskinilka Pasko Afki Taklaik Sakmulki Sakkonipki Jadahaga Tafambuji all right, you guys were able to hear that one as well? All right, good, good. Okay, yeah, no vocabulary. Joga Hija, Buddha. Mahaya, teacher. Alicha, doctor. Jabova, adulta, farmer. Nofeja, chef. Ofachija, judge. Jogahaya, secretary. Istiwanaya, policeman. Dodka, aslija, fireman. Inokalgi, afasta, nurse. All right. And let's see. I think I got one. Oh, yeah. All right. And verbs from module one, because I did use some of that, like hombada. So we'll go over that one again. Oyeda. Ayeda. Ayeda Neseda Hombeda Eskeda Hejida Geseda. All right. Okay, so those are our, our um, vocabulary words from last module and this module. And let's see if I can, All right. Okay, let me go over the sentence structure because that comes into play on some of the sentences. So there's some of us who don't remember the, you know, the uh, definition of some of these. <laughs> I've been out of school for a little while and I had to refresh all of this for myself. So it's not saying anything about anybody. It's just, these are some of the things I had to refresh on. So I know there might be some people who have to refresh on it too. Sentence structure, the word order in Muscogee sentences may vary. So that's why you see like Mahaya Eli, Mahaya Barnett and, my, and myself. We've got different parts of the whole picture. And sometimes, People do things differently, uh, just like tying your shoe. You've got the old way and then you got the rabbit in the hole kind of thing, you know. I remember that, you know, I knew how to do it the old way. When they showed me the rabbit, I couldn't, I couldn't tie my shoe. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the Muskogee sentences vary, um, regional, and then um, um, sometimes people have uh, added a little things. But, you know, we're teaching in the way that we knew or we understand. So you'll see a, a variety of uh, ways to teach and ways to say things. All right. Subject noun, a person or thing being discussed, described, or dealt with, person, place, or thing. Object receives the action. Verb, the action that is being performed by the subject. The verb explains what the subject is doing. Adjective, a word that describes the noun. Adverbs usually answer questions how, where, when, basic Muskogee sentence structure is subject, object, verb. In some Muskogee sentences, a T will be added to the subject of the sentences. In some of the Muskogee sentences, an N will be added to the object. And I was talking about that today with Mahaya Barnett and, you know, it's just whoever's teaching it. Just like um, when we um, have the, uh, uh, I'm not doing something, we have the eco or co, but and then we add the t, and then there's just you know we then we add the os. She said that she does it with the you know the dos, and we do it t 
goals. So, you know, we were talking about the differences and, and um, I've seen differencing differences everywhere. So that's just showing you what's out there and that there's more than one way. So you got IVA, it's got the T, so that's the uh, subject. Fulzen, which is, has the N, that means it's the object. Asegis, the dog chases the cat. Give it, pulls in asegis, the dog chases the cat. And that, like I said, that's gonna come into play in some of the sentences that we, that I made today. So that's why I'm going over this. Add adjectives and adverbs to build the sentence structure. So, you know, um, just like uh, subject verb, kipala, home base, kipala, jotty, home base, the red strawberry, I am eating the red strawberry. But this one is kipala home base, strawberry, I am eating. But if you add jotty, you know, kipala, jotty, home base, I am eating the red strawberry. All right. Woo, it's a lot to go over. <laughs> Okay, let's see, where am I? Okay. So these are the sentences, first person. And um, these are the sentences using our vocabulary words. So, Mahaya, Akopana, Gult, Os, I am not, I am not playing, uh, wait. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think, I, did, I think I did this wrong. Oh, no, I am not playing teacher. Woo! I just got finished with these, so I was just going, I am not playing teacher. And when I think about the sentences that I make, it's kind of funny because I will have a backstory to the sentence. So I'm like, I'm not playing teacher. I can just imagine two little kids. I'm not playing teacher, you know, that kind of thing. But I always seem to have a backstory because to me, that makes sense. And uh, I think it goes a little a little farther than some people go because <laughs> I can just see a little kid. I'm not playing teacher. <laughs> so, os. I am not playing policeman. You know, you're playing uh, you're playing all these characters as a young child. I'm not playing policeman. <laughs> so that's why you know I go ahead and make some of these sentences. I'm thinking of all these little kids or or a situation when this would be used. Waga busy talk lady. I am not eating cheese. And like I said, I, I think of all these little backstories for every single thing. So I'm thinking of a little kid who's probably lactose intolerant, not eating cheese. I am not eating cheese. <laughs> and it's funny because um, you go to a fast food place and you, you ask for, uh, and, and this case, this is for real. I had a, a friend who was working at a fast food place and they said, I want a hamburger with cheese. I mean, you know, number one, which is a cheeseburger with fries and a drink. And uh, they're like, I want a number one, but I don't want the cheese. And the person working there is like, well, then that would be a number two because number two is just a, a hamburger with fries and a drink. And they're like, they couldn't, comprehend that they're like no 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 I want a number one with no cheese and it would go on back and forth and they're like okay you're gonna get a number one <laughs> and this this is real this is real life uh story that there's some people that just wanted a a, a cheeseburger with no treat cheese instead of just getting the hamburger and that to me didn't didn't register but you know <laughs> they got what they asked for right? a cheeseburger with no cheese all right I am not eating bacon. And uh, like I said, I have all of these and we just went over them uh, except for, yeah, this, this PowerPoint from Mikoja is, uh, was, uh, there was something wrong with it. And I didn't have time to fix it, but I will put it on there. So these are our vocabulary word, words. And it's funny, Mikoja is uh, Mahaya Philip, it's his voice. So I can hear, every time I read, I read this, I can hear his voice, Makoja. Makoja Pahilani Ombakos. I am not eating green bacon. The reason I put that, and like I said, my story behind this is, my daughter was in, uh, I think it was um, elementary school and they were talking about green eggs and ham. And they really put the green dye in there. So. 
she was like, mom, I'm not eating that green stuff. And they kept saying, oh, it's just, for, and then uh, just doggy, buffy, lani, oops, I am not eating green eggs. She kept telling me I wouldn't eat the green eggs, mom. I didn't eat it because it was, uh, you know, like I said, going along with green eggs and ham. And uh, she said, I wouldn't eat it. She said, I was the last one sitting there and I wouldn't eat it. I'm like, well, I probably wouldn't eat green eggs any either. But that's why I put that on there because all these things come through my mind when I'm making all of these uh, sentences. All right. So, kahafi os. I am not eating ham. Yikchi, os. I am not walking strong. And I'm thinking about somebody who's coming out, you know, say they had um, an illness and they're just like really shaky. That's why I put, I'm not walking strong. And you see some people, you know, it just takes a little time after they were ill to start, you know, having strength again. A busky is, okay, I lost it here. I'm not drinking. Okay, a busky is cool. It's a gold pulse. I am not drinking corn drink. Sometimes, just like you guys, we just get stuck for some reason. <laughs> but, uh, you know, all I have to do when I get stuck as well is just, Sit there and sound is the gold holes. Just you know, break it up into little pieces, little bite-sized chunks to be able to um, to sound it out, just like you would in English. Waga busy is the gold holes. I am not drinking milk. Chadahaga haya gold holes. I am not like making. And you can take that word out because there's no word for round. This blue bread. I am not making blue bread. Let's go off I am not making grape dumplings. Yikchi, we the os. I am not standing strong. Okay. Yaham Yaham She she told me because I if you don't use these words very often, you know, we just but uh Yaham Yaham Get, get the goat os. I am not learning numbers. So I know it goes from ketara to ketha goat os. But trying to say all of that in one swoop, you know, it's kind of a tongue twister. But like I said, um, we'll get through it. You know, as long as you're trying, I don't have any problem. You know, you see me trying. Okay. In hikcha, get the goat os. In Hikcha, get the colors. I am not learning colors. So these are all the um, sentences I've come up with for first person negation. Did either one of you guys have any sentences you wanted to share? All right, you could chat, you can unmute, or you could just shake your head no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know, and like I said, I write these out so you can see how. The structure, you know, the um, it's supposed to be, and just to give you an idea of where you can go with what you've already learned, because right here, those are the infinitive verbs that we have conjugated for the first person. I am not doing something. So all the work that we've been doing for these last six weeks, you can make. I am not doing something, and then you have. Um, you have your uh, you have your vocabulary words to add on. So that's really cool how we're progressing. And I like to see you know progress in in, in learning, especially my learning. <laughs> I like to see that I'm also progressing as well. All right. So just to um, play it up a little bit, let me see if this is working today. All right, and these are all of the um, links from, you can see it's from the old Facebook page, but it's still working um, until I think they said the 18th. But uh, let me click on this and see if this one will start for you guys. Action word. Mm -hmm. Yaga bida to walk. 
Litkida to run. Okonaida to read. Akobanida to play. Nojida to sleep. Ishoche jida to write. Bonaida to talk. Mabohe jida to listen. Daskida to jump. Ishkida to drink. All right. Oh, okay. All right. She said she uh, forgot to bring them. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you guys are, um, you know, um, practicing on your own, that's fine. It's just, uh, I want to see if you, you know, if you uh, were had anything to share, I didn't want to, um, to leave you out. Let's see. Okay, something disappeared here. Okay, I can see you over there, but I can't see you over here. Oh, there you guys are. All right. <laughs> like I said, you just click on one thing and, and things disappear, and I don't even know why. Okay, so you can hear the uh, first speaker, and, and you can kind of hear in uh, Mahaya Phillips' voice. He's kind of... He, He's a playful character. <laughs> and that's how he is in real life. So he's just, I don't know. Like I, I talk about some of our elders are just like, and my, my daughter, she pointed this out. She goes, mama, some of these elders are just like kids. They'll sit there and giggle and they'll sit there and play. And then uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. And, but you can tell just from what he was reading, he's got a sense of humor and he's playful. And he's, he's fun, he's fun. But uh, I think that's a lot of our Native people. I know, Robert, <laughs> you know, we talk about this in class as well. But uh, yeah, it's people don't realize Natives have a lot of sense of humor and a different sense of humor. And they can laugh at anything. And one of the things I know I've said before is I'd rather be laughing than crying. And sometimes, oh, yeah, you know him as Oscar. Sometimes I, I knew him as Philip. And then they were talking about Oscar. And I'm like, who the heck is Oscar? And I said, I didn't know your name was Oscar. And he started, he started chuckling. But yeah, you know, our native people have a lot of sense of humor. And I think that has to be, you don't want to sit there and cry because our people have been through so much. So you kind of have to make yourself laugh. And one of the things I know I talked to Mahaya Barnett about is we had all of these things that some of our youth have now, but we couldn't think of stopping, you know, some of these obstacles you have, you know, um, some of the obstacles that I know even some of my children have is, you know, uh, anxiety, you know, depression, um, and, and stuff like that. Addictions can be part of it. We've all faced that, but I think what we've talked about is um, we were able to get through it and not call it something. We were just able to work through it because we were doing stuff. We just kind of put our nose down and just went through it. And then while you're going through it, you know, just make yourself laugh. And I know, Amy, I know you were there when I said uh, sometimes I'll just make up little songs. <laughs> just going to do the laundry, going to go do washing, you know, my dog. My daughter, she's just like, mom, stop singing. But it's like little stuff like that, that, you know, I do to help cheer myself up. And I tell my kids and my husband all the time, I'm like, if I don't have a cheerleader on the side and I feel down, I'm going to make myself happy and laugh and then just sing and dance. Funny story, I, I, was, in a, I was in a store and you know how sometimes they have the radio going on and it was old time. I would say 70s music. So I started bopping. I was pushing the cart and I was doing this. And, and my daughter knows this and she knows me. So she's like, oh, we're just walking. I'm just like bopping around. Bop. And I don't know, the voice from across the aisle was like, go get it, girl, go get it. And I was like, I didn't know. 
watching. And I, I heard him talking to me, but I just kept on bopping and kept on going. And she was like, oh my gosh, mom. <laughs> but it's like, you know, I have to make my, she was, she was getting kind of, uh, I'm not going to say depressed, but just kind of like low energy. So sometimes just to do that, just to pop somebody up, I just start doing something and then they start laughing. And sometimes depending on where we are, we'll just go start dancing in the, in the aisles. But, uh, you know, I think our people had to work through so many things that they didn't let anything stop them. And that's one of the things that I'm, we're trying to figure out is how can we encourage the younger people to not stop? You know, yes, we all get down. And I don't want to say depressed because I think that's could be a label. You know, um, my mother passed and I went to, I had eczema. And I had it really bad on my neck. And the doctor said, are you depressed? And I was like, well, my mom just passed. But I don't think I'm depressed. I, I'm sad because she's gone. But I don't think I'm depressed. I'm sad. And he goes, well, it sounds like you're depressed. And I was like, no. I said, because I'm fine. She's not hurting. So I'm, I'm fine. But I'm sad. And then he's like, well, it sounds like you're depressed. So he kept trying to give me some pills. And I was like, I don't want any pills. I'm fine. And then I, I got kind of annoyed. He, the reward of parenting is to embarrass our kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We embarrass our kids. But if you think about it later on, they get those characteristics from us when they have kids. And they learn from us, you know, my, my daughter's feeling kind of low or my son's feeling kind of low. Let's go dance, you know. Or let's just bop around, or let's make up a song. Let's go clean up the toy box, you know, <laughs> something like that. And that's one of the things, um, you know, that I'm trying to leave as, as a legacy for my kids is the, our sense of humor. You know, we can do a lot of things if we're laughing and smiling while we're doing it. Sometimes, yes, we all get low, but I don't want to call myself depressed. Like, like I was saying, that doctor was saying, oh, you're depressed. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I'm just sad. And then he's like, oh, let's give, it, has, let's give you some happy pills. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I said, no, I'm fine. And I told my husband afterwards, I was like, you know, I went to the dermatologist and he was trying to give me happy pills. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, you know. So you wonder why, you know, some of our people are stuck in these ruts. Some of these, you know, places keep saying, hey, try this, try that, try that. But I told my husband, I was like, uh, well, at that time, I was I was a uh, reservist. And, you know, the rules might have changed. But if you're on certain medications, you can get your, your security clearance can be pulled. So I had to be aware of anything that I took and say they had a random you know, test, your analysis test, you know, and they found happy pills. I could have lost, you know, a lot of my privileges. So these are some of the things that, <laughs> that I know people have gone through. We've already gone through, but like I said, make yourself happy. You know, and like I said, I, I do some weird things like have backstory to green eggs and ham, you know, think of little kids saying, I'm not playing policeman, but you know, it makes me happy. So I just share my happiness. And some people are, <laughs> Some people don't catch the happiness and they just kind of wamble around and I was like, okay. And then I just keep on doing me, but all right, enough about me. Let's go ahead. Second person negation sentences. Okay. What part of that sentence lets you know, and just, you can, you can put it in chat or you can unmute. What part of this sentence lets you know that it's second person? The Bumbleji Hombitsky Os. You guys remember? All right, let's see. The E T S K, it's second person. First person was the uh, which was the V. Second person is it. All right. I know I, I have to go through this stuff and because I, I sit there and I'll look at a sentence and I'll look at it and I was like, oh, okay, second person, first person. All right. Like I said, like it could be and that's what uh, Mahaya Barnett, she said she always does the T-O-S, dos. But I was like, this is how I learn. So that's how I'm teaching. 
but it can be either way. You are not eating wild onions. Pasco con biscuit os. You are not eating grapes. A fudge You go biscuit os. You are not walking happy. And the reason I think of a little kid, you know how little kids just walk happy. That's what I was thinking about for you are not walking happy. And you know, you can tell when somebody's, you know, from afar, somebody's all happy. You can tell. So that's why I put that one on there. You are not walking happy. Conjugation. Yes. Okay. Well, conjugation with it. That was you. Yeah, you. You were doing something. All right. And let's see. Moteja akopanetske kot os. You are not playing chef. And my backstory to that one is having a toddler or somebody thinking they're going to cook and get in there and start making a mess. And all I kept thinking was on that sentence was, oh my gosh, what a mess. And you have to clean it up. And they're like, oh, here, try this. You know, and it's a uh, toast with, uh, with butter and something like uh, hot peppers. You know, <laughs> they like to put all this funny stuff. Oh, it's, it's bright colors. Let me put it on there or, you know, something. You know how kids are. So that's what I was thinking about. You were not playing chef. <laughs> Or Dota Eslija, Akopanetske Bolts, you are not playing fireman. And my backstory for that one was I had two little boys, and one of them we now nicknamed Pyro because <laughs> he likes to play with the, um, the little lighter. We'd light the, uh, um, the fire outside to cook, and he just like. <laughs> so we had to make sure we had to um, hide all of our. Um, our lighters, even matches from a camp. But see, the, like I said, I get these little backstories. All right. Before we go on to third person, let me see if I can find template. I'm looking for the other templates. There's second person template. And, oh, here it is, first person template. So we're gonna go ahead and do one of these. So, do one of these and um, so we can refresh and I can make sure my template is, is as it needs to be. All right. Let's push this all up there. And then annotate. Right. I love those Mahaya that the template, like I'll print off like 12 of them or something and then practice. I love that template, <laughs> right. of all of them. Good, good. All right, so, oh, I forgot one thing. I'm not that tall. <laughs> let me, let me get up. I, I, you know, you see Mahaya Eli do this, but she's tall. <laughs> I'm not as tall as her, so I'll have to put it down a little bit. All right, there we go. Yeah, she's, I'm glad that helps because I was thinking, shoot, I wish I had this template when I was going through. That would have made it a lot easier. But, you know, when you go through college, they don't give you all of the tools to make it easy. You have to sit there and figure out how it's going to be easy for you. So, you know, I can see why it's not done. But at the same time, I'm like, dang, this makes it easy. All right. So let's go with walk it up. A A A T T D, which is to lie down. To lie down. Ooh, like I said, I'm stretching here. Okay, so walk it up, and I like that it goes step by step. You drop your E T B. And then you know your verb stem. That's your verb stem. And remember, in uh, in uh, first person negation, I mean, in negation, present tense negation, there's no L grading. So you just walk it all down. You add your person marker. Remember, first person, right there. Okay. And this one is going to be O because this is a is a is a vowel. 
I should put right here in my notes. I'll go ahead and try to change that. I'll try to remember to change that because then you have to figure out is it go or ego. But since um, since this is a value, just add co. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, and then you add your subject marker. Right? Knits. And then I will scoop it up. Right? And then you add your O's, which is M R is. You got your B, you got your person marker. Got your negation, and I should, like I said, I'll put on there equal because you have to decide whether it's EKO or KO. You've got your uh, subject marker and your OS, which is MR is. So that would be Waka Coat OS. I am not now. And that lying down, L Y I N G. <laughs> L-Y-I-N-G, lying, or not put. So it could be, uh, I think lying is like, I'm lying to you. <laughs> but I am not laying. There you go. Laying down. All right. So that is just a refresher of what we've done for um, this the six weeks. I am not doing something. I am not lying down. Waka ko os or waka ko dos. All right. Does anybody have any questions before I erase that? Is that making sense? All right. All right. But oh. So now we know how to do the first person. And let's see. I just, like I said, I wanted to go over this just to refresh everybody. And annotate. And let's see. Let's go with, let's do second person and hit you that. Oh, it's not up there. Oh. Let's see if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And then drop that verb stem. See, verb stem. No L grading. And then you add this. This is you, because we're talking about second person. Okay. Let's just drop everything down again. And then this case, would it be EKO or would it be KO? Somebody, yeah. Uh, might let me know, EKO or KO? All right, in this case, it would be EKO because this right here is not a vowel. A vowel. 
All right. So we can add the E. So it'd be E K O. And then you add your T, your subject marker. All right, EKO. Yes, Robert, that's awesome. Hello. Try and get that. There we go. I just lost O E subject marker H E C auxiliary verb. Then just um, put your verb stem here H E C. So your verb stem H E C. It's Person marker, which is second person, your negation. It's, uh, we're using that one, negation. Oh, person mark, subject marker, your T, your OS, M, R, is. Ejitski, go, OS. Ejitski, her key, it's. Eco os. Each it's eco os. You are not seeing. E each it's eco os. You are not seeing. Each it's eco os. Each it's he jits eco os. You are not seeing or he jits eco dos. Like I said, sometimes people put the T over there, so it's dos. And that's how Mahaya said that. Mahaya Burnett says that she does it. But either way, it's fine. But this is, the, like I said, this is how I learned. So that's how I'm teaching. But just know that the other one is out there. And I'm not going to say anybody's wrong because I've seen it even in our literature that uh, some of the writings we have, I've seen it both ways. I just want you to know that there's other ways out there. and. Contrary to what some people say, there's not only one way to do things. All right, let me see. So is that starting to make sense? I'm so excited that we know how to conjugate first, second, and third person, how we're not going to do something. And like I said, I'm just teaching you guys a little bit at a time. So we know a little bit more. And then we have module one. So we got a little bit more, two little bits. And we're trying to get to here. All right. Third person negation sentences. On this, you see right here, the T means the. And as I went over the sentence structure earlier, that's when you had ivat posen asijas, ivat posen asijas, the cat, the dog, or the dog, the cat, the dog is chasing. And that's where this comes in, the T, the D right there. That's why you see the T with a, a underline on it. So you can see that means in this case, it means the. The student is not eating. The teacher is not eating. The chef is not cooking, or it could be nothing called dos. The chef is not cooking. Inokolgi apastat, nothing called os. The nurse is not cooking. Ofajija, ofajijet, akopani called os. The judge is not playing. Like I said, if you haven't said these words in a while, <laughs> you're going to get a little. Um, Stopping, but that's okay. As long as you push forward, like I said, all of these words will come as long as we keep using them, as long as we keep practicing. Chapova adotgat 
the farmer is not playing. The policeman is not sleeping. The secretary is not walking. So now you can see how just that one T changes the sentence. The student is not eating. The teacher is not eating. The chef is not cooking. But that's what that means is that in this sentence, it means the. I know, I know, it gets kind of confusing sometimes. <laughs> That's why, like I said, I try to break it down in little sentences or little bite-sized chunks because it, it can be overwhelming if you sit there and look at everything all at once and you're just like, oh, it's too much. Okay, so let's do one with the third person. Okay, third person template. Ooh. All right, let me put this up here. So let's go ahead and do my favorite word. H-O-M-E-E-T-E-E. Right, because it's right before lunchtime. <laughs> All right. Drop that down. You can you, you find your verb stem. Okay, there's your verb stem. No L grading. Add the person marker, which in this case is no person marker for third person. So I use the open and close parentheses just for my placeholder. And then we'll just pull that down. Just go step by step. Okay, in this case, can somebody tell me, are we gonna use EKO or just KO? Does anybody remember? EKO or KO? You can unmute or you can just type it in chat. <laughs> okay. Since this right here, it's just my placeholder that there's nothing there. So is this a vowel? It is not a vowel. So we're gonna use E-K-O, all right? I know sometimes just having something there kind of throws you off. I know it does me sometimes. Let's see if I can stretch. No, oh, it's not going to work. Okay. Oh, oops. Forgot to switch over here. Okay, EKO. So we're stopped there. And then you add your subject marker. Add your auxiliary verb. Verb stem. No person marker. So this is really not there. Add your negation. Since the P is the last um, letter and it's not a vowel, we add E K O. And then uh, that's the negation, your subject marker, the T. Your auxiliary verb is os, all right? I'm gonna add your E-K-O-T, os. You are not well, it's not supposed to be you. I'm sorry. This should be he, she, it, 
or they. I need to fix that. All right. So, homebe quote, os. He, she, it, they are not eating. All right. So now that I know that, I'm going to have to go back and, and uh, completely fix the bottom part. But you get the picture of what we're supposed to be doing. The, uh, this is just a placeholder. So anything that goes right here is going to determine, is it E-K-O or is it just K-O? All right. So whatever he is here in third person, because this is just our placeholder. Does that make sense? All right. So he is not eating. She is not eating. It is not eating. They are not eating. Anybody have any questions? So I'm excited that we have tackled and we have completed another module and we know how not to do something. And you got the template. Like I said, I will update the template because it's not supposed to be you. It's supposed to be parentheses. She, he, it, they are not you. But you guys have the template out there. And um, one of the things I remember seeing in one of the sentences I was looking at Mahaya Barnett's class, she had goal. So I knew it was not. So if you don't remember anything else, just remember you usually in the conjugation eco or co is not so whatever they are doing uh say nisida buying they are not buying they are not drinking they are not eating eko or ko is usually not so if you you know even if you don't know what they're saying you know that they're not doing something all right so that is just awesome we got through the whole thing We've um, expanded on everything. Let's see here. Yeah. And let me go ahead and leave you with this. Mm -hmm. oh. Nope, that's not it. Let's see. That's not it. it was the clans. I thought that was cool. Because everybody is always asking about clans. And here's, like I said, here's brown bear. I was looking at that. I was thinking about showing my grandchild, brown bear, because she's learning what's going to be. Here it is, here's the clans. People are always asking about clans, so I thought I'd put that on there. Okay, you have to miss class. Oh, that's fine. You know, we're just gonna cover cover what we've co covered on Monday and Tuesday for, Saturday, uh, for Friday. But, uh, you know, just be safe. There's a lot of crazy drivers out there. Muskogee clans. Can you hear it? Joshuogi, beaver clan. Gotjogi, tiger clan. Ijoogi, deer clan. Odogogi, wind clan. Nogozogi, bear clan. Gonoogi, skunk clan. Wotgogi, raccoon clan. Woswogi, bird clan. Hobadogi, alligator clan. Ahalakogi, sweet potato clan. Jologi, fox clan. Octayachogi, snake clan. All right, so that's cool that um, we have clans out there. I was told that there are many more clans, but these are the ones that uh, I think uh, I think some of them they were talking about um, no longer exist. But these are the ones that they had recorded, and I'm Kacha Ogi, Tiger Clan. So that's why I was like, woo. <laughs> But all right, so um, this also is in the Google Drive if you guys want to revisit the infinitive verbs, brown bear, the clans, alphabet, um, A through K and L through Y. Um, you know, we're going to be, like I said, gone for two weeks. We're going to be planning, but um, you know, I, as long as everything is working great, I plan on doing some more hymns. 
I plan on also um, incorporating some of the um, videos, just like we saw, you know, if that pertain to our, our lesson and everything. If you guys have anything else, just let me know. Just um, shoot me an email, give us a call. But um, that's all we got. That's a lot. We got through a lot. We did a lot. All right, Mado. I'm just going to say, Robert, you guys, you have a safe trip. And I will see you later, Amy. I appreciate you guys coming. And let me see. Hadam to you to cough, please. My day for all your hard work. It really has helped me a lot. So thank you. Uh, no Blessings. <laughs>